Hi. How are you? I'm very happy to be here. First, I would like to just get to know you. Ha, 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 ha. Quiet. What's your name? Callie. See, the world looks very different from up here. You don't believe me? Come see for yourselves. Come on. Come on. Just when you think you know something, you have to look at it in another way. Even though it may seem silly or wrong, you must try. Now, when you read, don't just consider what the author thinks. Consider what you think. Boys, you must strive to find your own voice. Gretchen, I'm sorry I laughed at you that time you got diarrhea at Barnes & Noble. And I'm sorry I told everyone about it. And I'm sorry for repeating it now. I want you to find your own walk right now, your own way of striding, pacing, any direction, anything you want, whether it's proud, whether it's silly, anything. Gentlemen, the courtyard is yours. You don't have to perform. Just make it for yourself. Mr. Dalton, you'll be joining us. Exercising the right not to walk. Thank you, Mr. Dalton. I don't know how much you know, so we'll start from scratch. First, as I call your name, will you please read anything you like from one of your school books? I want to be a singer. A singer? Okay, sing me something. Tamika, I can't let you be a singer if you can't sing. You told me to leave you alone. My papa said, come on home. In 1930, the Republican-controlled House of Representatives, in an effort to alleviate the effects of the, anyone, anyone, the Great Depression, passed the, anyone, anyone, a tariff bill, the Hawley-Smoot Tariff Act. Sensei. <laughs> it's obvious that homeboy is a noun. <laughs> I don't know. Mary had a little. Oh. Oh. Hey, 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 Maybe where Maria came from. <laughs> Mary had a doll. Yes. Oh, yes. Or a little kitty cat. Oh, yes. 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 Or a little bald headed brother named Bart. Wow. Uh, it is yeah. not her fault that she doesn't know it, and we're not going to hold that against her. Oh, are we? No, 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 we are not. No. You sing whatever it is that is in you to sing. Right. All right. Thank you. Hey, Mr. Tambourine Man. Tambourine. Tambourine Man. Play a song for me. I'm not sleepy and there is no place I'm going to. Yes. What does that mean? What do you think it means? What, some guy's got a tambourine and this other guy wants him to play because he can't sleep. Okay. Yeah, but how come he want to play the tambourine? Don't he got a radio or something? You know what I'm saying? Well, you know, that's a good point. I mean, it, it's, it's a weird choice. So what if I told you that Mr. Tambourine Man is a code name? A code name for what? A drug dealer. Is it? Well, a lot of people think so. So what was the code? What does Hey Mr. Tambourine Man play a song for me mean? Well, you think play a song for me means give me the stuff. Talk about Shaka Zulu. Do you think Shaka Zulu could repel a bunch of troops with a little teeny tiny voice like you using? This is you. Oh, have 
happy day. That ain't gonna scare nobody, Shaka. Oh, happy day. That's what I want you to do, okay? Take it up a half a step for me. All right. Repel me. <clears throat> oh, happy day. That ain't gonna scare nobody. Oh, happy day. See, now you got it. All right. Tough guy, shortstop, fancy pants, get over here. You guys are on security detail. Your job is to make sure no one outside this room knows what we're doing in here. The future of the band depends on you. Okay, your first mission, soundproofing this room. Get on it. Can I be the band stylist instead? Of course you can, fancy pants. Armies of academics going forward, measuring poetry. No! We will not have that here. No more of Mr. J. Evans pitching. Now, my class, you will learn to think for yourselves again. You will learn to savor words and language. No matter what anybody tells you, words and ideas can change the world. <laughs> For me, sport is actually a chance for us to have other human beings push us to excel. I want you all to come over here and take a slip of paper and line up single file. Oh, to struggle against great odds, to meet enemies undaunted. Now go on! Yes! Next! To be a sailor of the world, bound for all ports. To advance to the muzzles of guns with perfect nonchalance. So, what are the limitations of having Scout as the narrator? You, Chubbs. Because he... Eh. Oh. Well, I feel good today. Anyone else feel good? Hmm? I need a volunteer. And I need somebody who feels strong. So what we got here is two opposing forces, Terence and myself. And we're pushing against each other, and as long as one is stronger, and it looks like it's T, the change is slow and consistent. But once the other side becomes stronger... <laughs> oh, there's a turning point. Thank you, T. Make sense? Today we're gonna to be talking about William Shakespeare. I know. A lot of you look forward to this about as much as you look forward to root canal work. We're going to talk about Shakespeare as someone who writes something very interesting. Now, many of you have seen Shakespeare done very much like this. Oh, Titus, bring your friend hither. <laughs> but if any of you have seen Mr. Marlon Brando... No, but Shakespeare can be different. France, Romans, countrymen. <laughs> Let me rest. <laughs> You can also imagine maybe John Wayne is Macbeth going, well, is this a dagger I see before me? <laughs> I think it's time we started our new class project. A science project? No, it's called Rock Band. Is this a school project? Yes, and it's a requirement. And it may sound easy, but nothing could be harder. It will test your head and your mind and your brain, too. And what's the Dylan Dylan contest about? Well, there's Bob Dylan, who we've been reading. And then there's Dylan Thomas, who also wrote poems. If you could find the poem written by Dylan Thomas that is like a poem written by Bob Dylan, you win Dylan Dylan contest. I just know you are going to get your teaching on. I thought the teachers were supposed to get the apples. Well, I think the students teach me at least as much as I teach them. <laughs>